Okay, now I'm going to pin the pleated crown pieces to the hat band. Put one aside for a moment. So the crown has three notches, one at the center and one on either side of the center. One there, there's one there. The hat band, which was cut on the fold right here, when I open it up, there are three notches on each long edge. So where the fold was is the center front, and then there's also a notch on either side of the center front. I also, before I'm going to pin this, I also took this and folded it in half lengthwise and pressed a crease there. That's going to be the lower edge of the hat band that goes around the wearer's face. I need that crease uh, for later on. So I'm going to start with the crown face up and the hat band right sides together facing down. And I'm going to match up those center notches and pin that. Then I'm going to find side notches on the crown and the hat band. Match those up with the raw edges even. And pin those. Then I'll move around to the other side find those side notches, match those together with the raw edges even, and pin them. And I'll give it a quarter of a turn and find my corners. So I have the narrow end of the crown piece has two corners and the narrow end of the hat band has the two corners, so I'm going to match up along that side that I was already pinning. I'm going to match up those corners. If we look at the pattern pieces on the hat band, that's this corner, and on the crown, that's this corner. Those are going to match together. Okay, so on the fabric piece, I match those corners. Raw edges even and pin. And then in between where the notches are pinned and the corner, on the crown underneath, that's where the pleats are. On the hat band, that piece is cut on a slight angle, so it's a little bit biased, which means it will stretch. In case those two lengths aren't an exact match, you can stretch the hat band piece to match. Grab it in the center, approximate center between the notch and the corner and put another pin in there. Then I'll rotate around about 180 degrees, move the entire long edge of the other side of the hat band out of the way so I can then match up the other crown corner with the corner of that same long edge of the hat band. Pin that. And then same thing. Match up those raw edges. Hold that corner and the pin at the notch. Give it a little stretch if you need to. Pinch those together approximately halfway in between. And put a pin there. Okay. So I have one crown pinned to one long side of the hat band. Now I have this entire other long side of the hat band, and for that I have my second crown. So I will again put that face up on the bottom, because that is the way I'm going to sew it later. The sewing is in a separate video. So here's my hat band log end, long edge. It's curvy now because it's pinched in by the other crown, but I find the middle or the center notch again where that original fold was when we cut it. Pin that and again move around 
to the one side notch pin at that notch move around to the other side notch get that corner out of the way for the time being match up those side notches with the edges even and pin that then I keep moving around on that side find the corners there's the corner of the crown and the corner of the band match those together and pin match up those slightly angled edges grab it somewhere halfway in between put a pin there and then I have one more corner to pin it's tucked itself in a little bit there okay there's the free corner of the crown that's on the bottom and the free corner of the hat band match those up put in a pin match up the final raw edges on the angled parts stretch it to fit if you need to grab it about halfway between the two pins put one more pin so the crown with the pleats is now is on the bottom there's the crown piece there's the other crown piece so the whole thing right now looks like some kind of a bag but once it's sewn we will move some seams around match some other points together put in the straps and turn it into a cap uh, so the sewing steps are on a separate video um, I guess one other thing I want to mention this one was cut on the fold so I had a fold with notches to be the center front if you cut from a fat quarter or from a half a yard and you had to add a seam allowance there you would have sewn a seam there in place of that fold and that seam would be the center front or that center notch. <laughs>